goals do count. So if Somalia do find the back of the net during this match, then Zimbabwe is already testing. Match is going to become just that little more difficult. And a couple of changes for the hosts. Notably with the return of Biliat and Hadebe. who are missing in the first leg. Of course, marvellous Nakamba, brilliantly named. Midfielder who recently joined Premier League side Aston Villa from a Club Brugge in Belgium. is not in the squad, so hasn't played a part in either of these matches. Joey Antipas they want his men to make a fast start as they try to overcome an embarrassing first leg defeat. They lost the lowest ranked team in the world. Somalia, who were debuting a number of players in that match. A very impressive result. But it is going to be a tall order for them to follow that up here. In front of a crowd that is getting pretty lively. Far from a full house. But still plenty of noise and good feeling. And you can hear the Vuzela. Making plenty of racket. Oh, we're underway here at National Stadium in Harare. And Zimbabwe are setting out to overturn a one goal deficit from the first leg. A reminder that they suffered a humiliating loss to the lowest ranked team in the world in Djibouti. So, uh, ending a run of 19 successive losses which stretch back eight years and while Sid Ali Shakunda the hero with an 86 minute headed winner now Zimbabwe the hosts making their way forward early on and Somalia winning back possession and clearing from the edge of their box and there being a shout from the number 22 Kuda Mahachi on the far side of the box there that wasn't Noted. And Somalia tight at the back early on. A big success for Somalia, considering that they won their first qualifying match of any description since 1984, which was an Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Kenya. It's their first ever FIFA World Cup qualifying game that they have won. And the attempted shot miscued. That was a good opening from the hosts and obviously has encouraged the home crowd. It's the number 11, Biliat, who some see as the main man in this Zimbabwe side. Just unable to pull off the volley. And Somalia get the game back underway. Send the ball up the pitch. And Zimbabwe will be encouraged by that. It was the captain, Mudimu, sending the ball back to Chipazeze. And now Lunga sends the ball forward looking for Rizik. A nice little touch. And he's shown a few matches. Some very tall players, particularly on the Zimbabwe side. Powerful run there by Munetsi. So he locates Lunga on that far side and the ball in. It's a chance here. Biliat looking to turn in the box. Just denied. Some last ditch defending there by the Somalian back line. And now play will be stopped. A confirmation there that Ali, the goalkeeper, did indeed receive the booking for time wasting. And Somalia find themselves ahead here against all the odds. 
chance for Zimbabwe to cancel out that advantage, but they weren't able to take it. And Somalia hacking the ball away out of defense. Well, the opening leg was played in Djibouti. Game had to be played on neutral territory, of course, because of the unstable security situation in Somalia. It didn't phase them. They stand firm here once again. Ali charging out bravely to collect the ball. He's now suffered an injury, so he's down on the ground. Ali, who's been at Somalia, holding firm in defense. And here come the hosts once again. It's their one last chance before the break. It's with Hidi. Now Mahachi. Madini to Hadebe. Rusik with the header in and a chance for the hosts. Once again getting in each other's way. And what an opening that was. Another chance now. Is that a handball? There are appeals for it. It's going to be a corner instead. And Zimbabwe with a flurry of late openings and efforts on goal. Somalia doing their best to charge them down. It would be interesting to see. To struggle to create going forward, but there. Well, there it's the potential for a, a chance, but Ali, with his cat-like reflexes, gathering the ball. Now here comes the corner, whipped in. Headed down and a chance, and Zimbabwe finally have the goal that they've been searching for all match, and it's the number eight, Munetsi. The man who moved this summer from Orlando Pirates to Haas in France's Ligue 1 has given the home side hope with 15 minutes remaining. And Somalia who held firm for so long have now seen that goal from the opening leg wiped out and what a finish it was headed back down acrobatic with the right foot from Munetzi and suddenly Zimbabwe have reason to believe and forward come the hosts once again and it's Mahachi, Mahachi with the ball in. And it's well defended this time. And the ball headed clear, hit the referee. And now Nakati has given it back to Rizik. Rizik looking to deliver, takes a knock from a Somalian player on the way through. And now it's with Biliat on the edge of the box. Another chance potentially for Zimbabwe. For Mahashi. And the referee getting things in order. And now the free kick can be taken. And it's Biliad who stands over it. Good chance this for the home side. Can they make the most of it? Billy up with the delivery. And it is headed clear. Somalian head on it. Not sure that this free kick does not lead to anything. Chibuzeze trying to line up his defenders. Somalia send the ball in. It's headed clear, but Somalia will have a corner. And Zimbabwe can bring it away. Munetsi, the goal scorer. And Somalia managing to win back possession. Ball sent forward once again. And now what an opportunity this is for Somalia to get the away goal. And they do! What a piece! What a mistake in the Zimbabwean defence! But the visitors don't care. 
What a massive, massive moment for Somalian football. Just when it looked like Zimbabwe were getting back into the match, a howler absolutely gifts them an equaliser. Goal in favour of Somalia. And you can see the look on the face of that Zimbabwean bench. Antipas just doesn't know where to put himself. Well, this is a massive, massive moment for Somalia. Their opening leg win ended a run of 19 successive defeats. And now not only do they look like they may well avoid defeat for a second match in a row. Thanks to their number 10, Omar Abdullahi Mohamed. They now have a priceless away goal, which means Zimbabwe need to score more than once more. Massive, massive goal for Somalia. And what an incredible moment. And now Zimbabwe facing embarrassment once again. A chance from the free kick, and Zimbabwe have themselves another goal. Musque from the free kick. Did it take a deflection? Well, suddenly the hosts need a goal once more. Remember, it's not enough at the moment at 2-1. Somalia will go through on away goals, but suddenly, in the final 15 minutes, we've gone goal crazy here at National Stadium in Harare. It did take a deflection off a Somalian head there. Musque with the free kick going straight through. And it's now Zimbabwe 2, Somalia 1, but Zimbabwe need another goal. There's now no way that there will be extra time and penalties thanks to those two late goals. And now it's simply a Klein's Billy out on the edge of the box now. Can he get the shot in? He does, and it's the goal for Zimbabwe. It's 3-1. Incredible scenes. Zimbabwe managing to fight back after a horrific error gifted Somalia the equaliser and you can see the dejection on the Somalian faces Zimbabwe somehow coming back from the dead 3-1 it's incredible scenes here at National Stadium in Harare and it's that man Billy out the talisman of the team he's had a couple of opportunities today where he's not really done as well as he perhaps could have done in front of goal but when it really mattered he turned up sent the shot into the top corner of the net and has sent the crowd wild. Took his shirt off in celebration. He emulated Cristiano Ronaldo's celebration. Fired it past Ali. No chance for the Somalia goalkeeper. It's harsh on him because he's had a very, very good match.